Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm actually giving away an apple or you can have a pack of cigarettes. What do you think you um, want? I'll take the apple. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, here, go ahead and take the apple. Um, why did you decide to take the apple though, not the, the cigarettes? Because it's healthy. That's awesome. That's great uh, how you are thinking about taking care of yourself instead of, you know, using the bad thing. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, this RV right here, uh, is this your home basically? Yeah. Is this where you're is. sleeping? Yeah. Um, can, I, can I take a quick peek if you don't mind? Like, sure. Where, where do you usually sleep? Is there like a, a bed inside or is yeah. there like a couch? Yeah. Okay, so you sleep like right there in the bed? Yeah. And, and that's like your kitchen, okay. All right, uh, you can come out. Um, so if you, if, if you don't mind sharing your story, like what happened? How did you actually end up living out here in an RV? Um, well, my mom died. My mom and dad died when they were both young. I am so sorry. So um, how old were you back then? Um, I was in my early 20s. No way. So you didn't have a job and you were depending on them? Yeah. And then as soon as they died, nobody like your uncle, auntie, no relative, nobody wanted to help they you? They all moved away, like... Oh, no. Yeah, my grandma moved, like, to Idaho. Oh, no. So did they? But did they not offer you to move with them, or...? I didn't ask. I didn't want to feel like a burden. Well, you didn't even have to ask as a good person, as a kind person. I think they were supposed to ask you or take care of you, you know, but... Oh, okay, whatever happened, happened, you know? And, and then what happened after? Um... I don't know, I just kind of like lost contact with my family and I've just been out here ever since. Wow. And when you say, how many years has it been? How old are you now? Um, I'm 41. 41. So it's been almost like what? 20 like years. 20 years? Wow. Have you ever tried finding a job or trying to get yourself out of the situation or? Or you um, just got like very comfortable and with it? Or? No, I tried. I, it's kind of hard actually to find a job because, you know, I don't feel like my self-esteem is kind of low and I don't have like a You don't have place. the energy for... Well, no, like a place, like a steady place to shower and all that. So. Got it, got it. I, and I, and again, I'm, I'm sorry. Not everybody understands that situation. And, and a lot of people, you know, out here uh, look, look down on the homeless people. And I always tell people, that, hey, if you can ever buy ever buy somebody a meal it can make somebody's day right yeah uh how, how do you come up with like food and stuff do, do people somebody buy you food or um i go to like to um salvation army and, and they, they they have food uh, for you yeah so whenever you're hungry you just go to salvation army and they give you food yeah wow and how many times a day do you eat um, probably like once one wow that is so sad you know people people don't understand like what people how people are living here and going through the situation and and it's 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 not easy you know it's not easy to survive out here uh, but do you ever like uh, stand on the road like asking people for food did somebody help you ever or no um, I've never done that really you, you never never really done that so you just wait until you're hungry you just go um, to salvation and, and the people that are like your neighbors and stuff do they ever come and, and share some food with yeah. you sometimes they do that's that's really amazing um, Wow. And did you have ever had any siblings? Did you had anybody else um, other than your grandma than or somebody that could help? Or, they're you know, all younger than me. They're all younger. Do you know where they are? Or are they like mm -hmm. on... They're scattered around. Are, do you think they're probably on the streets or do you think... No, they're not. They're not? You're So you're the only one mm -hmm. that actually kind of like ended up mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and do they know that you're here or not really? They don't know where I'm at. Wow. So do you think that they're probably trying to find you? And, and and look for you right uh, yeah before they used to look for me and, and not anymore they don't look for well, you i don't no think more? they know where to find me before wow was, like, they probably they probably think like you're lost or you're like kidnapped or something mm -hmm. like that that is crazy i'm so sorry uh for you know whatever has happened in your life it's not easy life is not easy but you know you just gotta be strong and good that now you're like taking care of your health you're doing the right thing um and and you sure you don't want you don't want the packet of the, sure. the cigarettes are you sure yeah okay here you know what i wanted to do for you since you decided to help me out um i want to give you this because you can actually look at the, the apple it says something on there so are that's you serious? yeah that's all yours god bless you okay thank you all right have a blessed day thank you